EJ Love here from EJLove.com and Soul TV. So what's alive in me at the moment is I'm just really noticing how many people are in a fucking story, right? So I have been in story myself plenty of times, often still in story, but I have this awareness of when I go into story and I know how to get out of it. And sometimes, um, obviously, in my in my field of work, um, people come to me usually because they're in some sort of story. And of course, I like to be able to help them and, and help them to be able to get out of that story. But sometimes, people really are like in this massive story. They've gone down there's a rabbit hole. The monkey mind has taken over, and they really can't see how to get out of it. And of course, sometimes it can be a little bit frustrating for me because I'm like banging my head against a brick wall going, this isn't real, you're in a story, it's not real, if you just do this, just get out of the fucking story. And sometimes it's just like, oh, if you, just, if you could just see, you know, what's really real. And I'm finding lately, you know, obviously I've got my 21 day free program and a lot of it is about really recognizing the stories that you're in. So I have a lot of people come to me and they're telling me what's going on for them. And I'm like, you know what, this is all in my program. You know, if you just get started on it and then people procrastinate and they find reasons and, and not to do it. And you know, I don't have time. Like none of us have time, like really, like we're, we're time poor culture. Okay. So um, it's more about what you're going to make a priority. Now the thing is, if you make this work a priority, this is when things will start to shift in your life and you won't have the same thing happen over and over and over again. And that's what keeps happening is people keep coming back to me with the same stuff. And I'm like, have you done the fucking work? You haven't done the work, go back and do the work. And of course, I don't usually say it in this way because I really try to hold a space of empathy and compassion. But what's alive in me at the moment is like, sometimes I really am like, just do the work. Like really, just do the work and get out of story. And I... And I totally get it because I have been in story many a times. And I also, I go into story all the time. And I, um, you know, right now I'm in a story, right? I'm in a story that people don't listen to me. People don't do the work. People procrastinate. You know, I'm really telling myself these things. But, you know, i am gone into this reptilian brain, which is really what's going on. And um, when we're in story, our reptilian brain has been activated. We're in survival. And um and we often are making it so real and true for us and we're living inside of that story. So the beauty of it is that we can get out of the story because we end up in some crazy mind fuck and we've gone on to some tangent about something else and something else and we've created some meaning that is not even real and but we make it real, right? So yeah, the, be the best way to get out of story, and this is a really great practice that I learned with um, the Love Coach Academy, who are amazing, by the way, and I will continue to work with them for a very long time, I suspect. And they taught me this one, which is really helping you to get out of the reptilian brain into the frontal lobe. And what that does is it allows you to have more logic and to be able to really see the bigger picture and see what's really real, okay? Because all that's happening in these moments is that you are being triggered and you are being triggered from something that happened to you a long, long time ago and it's the little girl or the little boy inside of you that is making it real for you as an adult, but it's actually not real. So the first thing you want to do is you want to recognize the story and instead of like saying, well, this is what's going on, like, and you, you know, someone will come to me and they'll go, oh, this and this and this has happened. And I'll go, okay, well, what's the story? What are you actually telling yourself? So, for example, you know, you might be telling yourself, they don't love me, he doesn't care about me, she doesn't respect me, it isn't, life isn't fair, whatever it may be, you can drop into that story. And, and then what you want to do is you want to change the wording of it. And the phrase is, um, I'm telling myself that. Uh, or I'm in my story that. So this actually, this practice is all in my program, by the way. So um, so if you forget it or can't write it down, whatever, you can go back and you can go into my program. I'll pop the link up with the video and you can go and check it out. Um, and it's one of the, it's the emotional connection practice that I've got in there. And it really helps you to drop into what the story is. And then you want to identify what the feelings are. So for me, for example, if we work on me right now, so I would say I'm in my story that people don't listen to me. So you better be listening, by the way. Don't switch, don't like switch off this video. <laughs> so I'm in my story that um, people don't listen to me. Okay, so I can say that a few times and then I'll start to see that this is kind of funny. I'm like, oh, yeah, that is a bit of a story, right? So, because really, like, pe people listen to me, but 
Like when people are not doing the work or I'm getting frustrated because I keep having to tell them the same thing over and over and over and they're not going to do the, what the things that I suggest that they do. But I can look at what the story is and then it doesn't affect me so much. You know, I don't, don't get so triggered and um, it will actually be triggering something that's happened for me, you know, a long time ago when I wasn't listened to. Maybe as a child I was trying to, you know, um, ask for something and my parents weren't listening to me. They were ignoring me, whatever, you know, it could have been another kid, whatever was going on. We're not, we're not going back to that moment. We're just identifying what the story is and then you want to go into well, what are the feelings so I'd be going I'm feeling frustrated I'm feeling annoyed and really allowing myself to feel that and part of that is um actually ex being able to express it too like if I drop into what my needs are you know my need would be okay I need to go and vet this out or maybe I need to express it like I am now and, and really dropping into how can I get these needs met so it's story identify story feel the feelings, identify, name the feelings, and then look at what the needs underneath that. Because under all these feelings are just unmet needs. And my need, you know what my need is? My need is for for people to get out of story, wake up, and, and change their lives and transform themselves. Like I want people to have the love that they deserve, that they desire, that they are yearning for. But they're stuck in a story about why they can't have it over and over and over the same perpetuating story and I sometimes it's really hard for me to be someone who works on themselves to see people in story when I'm like it doesn't have to be this way and it's you know it's very victim-y too to be in story all the time and I don't want to make people bad and wrong for being victim because I've totally been there too and we're in a we're in a um in a culture that is very bitchy complaining about what people did to us how they hurt us blah 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 that is totally disempowering us so i want people to step up into um empowerment so then I need to look at how can I meet my own needs. And what I needed to do is, because I can't, you know, I can't just make people do the work. Like, but what I can do is express myself, express my needs, and then express my frustration. And really, um, you know, maybe that will, you know, see people will go, okay, yeah, I get, I'm totally, actually, I'm going to tell you a story about something, and I'm going to go do something about it. So a lot of you probably watching this are probably on my program. If you are procrastinating, if um, maybe sabotaging, maybe you're in a story about why you're not doing it. Yes, that's probably true. <laughs> um, then, you know, we want to look at that. Okay, so... <sighs> <laughs> yeah, what you want to do is you really just want to do the fucking work. Like, honestly, I'm, I'm just like, please, just half an hour a day to start working on yourself. Because people, what they do is they go out and they decide that they're going to change their life by changing the outside world around them. Maybe they're going to change jobs. Maybe they're going to hang out with different people. Maybe they're going to move. Maybe they're going to do something to numb or band-aid the feelings they don't want to feel. Guess what? The same thing's going to happen. The same pattern's going to play out. No matter who you hang out with, no matter where you live, no matter what you're doing to yourself on the outside, you know, it is not going to change. It is going to have the same thing's going to happen until you do the inner work. Okay? It all comes from inside. And then when you change do the inner work, it will change your outer world. Your inner world is a, yeah, sorry, your outer world is a reflection of your inner world. This is, I know this is a bit of a kick-ass kind of video, but I felt like I needed to get this out there, and I um, wanted to express myself in this way, and, you know, sometimes we're a bit like, oh, love and light, when you're ready, and when you're feeling it, and blah, 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 which is great, well, which is great, and it's some, some people resonate to that, I resonate to that at times, and sometimes that's what I need, but some people need to get their ass kicked and get, and get moving, because... You know what? If you're in story, <laughs> if you're in story, you need to get out of it. And you really need to realize it's not real, okay? Your ego has convinced you that it's real. And it wants it to be real because it gets to be right. And it, the ego is so set on being right that your life is messed up and you can't get out of it. And you're so stuck. There's nothing that you can do that works. Well, I'll tell you what works. What works is you do the fucking inner work. That's what works. I know it because I've lived it. Okay. I used to be in story all the time. My whole life was a story. And now, yes, I go into story sometimes and I step out of it. 
and I look at it and I can look at it from this outside perspective and know it's not real and then I can act accordingly okay so if we're in story we're gonna keep acting from that story and nothing will change if we can step outside the story then we can make a change from outside because we can see a bigger perspective. You know, we're looking from the frontal lobe, not from survival. When we're in survival, we do not act in a way that is in our highest good. So, please go and do the work. Number one thing is go to my program, the tinyurl.com slash heal love. Sign up to the program, start doing the work, post in the group. I've got a Facebook community. Um, because support always helps and sharing is very healing and maybe share what some of your stories are I'd love to hear the stories and I can I you know I meet people and I can see when people are in the story really clearly and really get to them to help them to see where the story is actually stopping them in their lives okay so you know what to do don't let the story stop you about why you shouldn't do it <laughs> or have some judgment or story about me which you probably do right now um, because it says your stuff, not mine, by the way. That's your story. Got nothing to do with me. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to leave you guys with that. And um, I look forward to seeing you as part of the program and, get, and doing the work. All right. Bye for now. And remember, you are love. Own it now.